Leonard Norman Wine was born on June 12, 1948 and died on September 10, 2017. He was an American comic book writer and editor best known for co-creating DC Comics Swamp Thing and Marvel Comics Wolverine, and for helping revive the Marvel superhero team The X-Men, including the co-creation of Nightcrawler, Storm, and Colossus. Additionally, he was the editor for writer Alan Moore and illustrator Dave Gibbons' influential DC miniseries Watchmen. Wine was inducted into the Will Eisner Comics Book Hall of Fame in 2008. Was raised in a Jewish household. One of two children of Philip and Rosalind, nay Bauman, Wine, he lived in the Bronx until age seven, when he moved with his family to Levittown, New York, on Long Island. There he graduated from Division Avenue High School in 1966, and went on to an art degree from nearby Farmingdale State College. Wine's younger brother, Michael, died in 2007. In a 2003 interview, Len Wine recalled that he was a very sickly kid. While I was in the hospital at age seven, my dad brought me a stack of comic books to keep me occupied. And I was hooked. When my eighth grade art teacher, Mr. Smedley, told me he thought I had actual art talent, I decided to devote all my efforts in that direction in the hope that I might someday get into the comics biz. Approximately once a month, as a teenager, Wine and his friend Marv Wolfman took DC Comics' weekly Thursday afternoon tour of the company's offices. Wolfman was active in fancy in culture and together he and Wine produced sample superhero stories to show to the DC editorial staff. At that point, Wine was more interested in becoming an artist than a writer. In a 2008 interview, Wine said his origins as an artist have helped him describe art to an artist so that I can see it all in my own head, and claimed he used to have artists, especially at DC, guys like Irv Novik and a few of the others who would come into the office waiting for their next assignment and ask, Editor, Julia Schwartz, do you have any Len Wine scripts lying around? He's always easy to draw. Eventually, DC editor Joe Orlando hired both Wolfman and Wine as freelance writers. Wine's first professional comics story was Eye of the Beholder in DC's Teen Titans No. 18, December 1968 for which he co-created with Wolfman Red Star, the first official Russian superhero in the DC Universe. Neil Adams was called upon to rewrite and redraw Teen Titans' story which had been written by Wine and Wolfman. The story, titled Titans Fit the Battle of Jericho, would have introduced DC's first African-American superhero but was rejected by publisher Carmen Infantino. The revised story appeared in Teen Titans No. 20, April 1969. Later that year, Wine was writing anthological mystery stories for DC's The House of Secrets and Marvel's Tower of Shadows and Chamber of Darkness. He additionally began writing for DC's romance comic Secret Hearts and the company's toy line tie-in Hot Wheels. Skyworld Publications Horror Comics Magazine's Nightmare and Psycho and its short-lived Western comic books The Bravados and the Sun Ants Kid, and Gold Key Comics Mod Wheels, Boris Karloff Tales of Mystery, the toy line tie-in Microbots and the TV series tie-in Star Trek and the Twilight Zone. Wine's first wife was Glynis Oliver, a comics colorist who spent years on the X-Men titles. Following their divorce, he married Kristin Velarde, a photographer and attorney, in 1991, and became stepfather to Michael Benwitz Velarde. On April 6, 2009, Wine's California home burned down with considerable loss of property and mementos, including his Shazam Awards. He and his wife also lost their dog, Sheba, to the fire. Beginning October 26, 2009, Velarde appeared on and won the television game show Jeopardy, becoming a four-time champion with winnings of over $60,000. She indicated on the show that she would use the money to recover or replace much of the artwork and books the couple lost in the fire. Wine underwent triple bypass heart surgery on February 10, 2015. 
He died on September 10, 2017 at 69 years old.